Good day everyone. So today, tuturo ko kung paano gamitin ang TTS or uh, ANOVA sa ating Microsoft Excel. Uh, here is my example. Question number three. Is there a significant difference on the perception of the respondents on Google Classroom when grouped by their variable? So balikan natin yung coding natin last time. So ito yung coding natin. Ang una yung gawin is kunin natin yung average sa ating perception ng Google Classroom. So, click equals and then type average. Ayan. And then highlight nyo from item number 1 hanggang doon sa end. And then after that, close and then enter. Pag na-enter nyo, click nyo dito sa may gilid then drag nyo siya pa baba. Okay, so ito yung value or yung mean ng perception ng Google Classroom ng mga respondents ninyo. So, first is, i-copy natin. Ang unang variable natin we have here pala is age. Second is gender. And then third one is section. So, sa age, we have, ano yung A sa age natin? Age, we have 16, 17, 18, and 19. And then 20 above, coded as 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, mag-add tayo ng isang sheet. And then, balikan natin yung coding. I-copy natin yung column ni age. Control C. And then, ilipat natin sa isang sheet. Control V. Ayan si age. And then, balikan ulit natin yung coding. I-copy natin ito. Control C. And then, here, ang i-copy na natin is, ito yung i-paste options nyo, yung values lang, para hindi siya nakalink doon sa unang uh, sheet. So, ayan. Okay. Ulitin ko, we have five uh, category in age. So, magiging 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, si 1 is 16. Ay, hindi. Si 1 ay 16. Yan, tamas. Si 2 ay 17. 3 ay 18. 4 ay 19. And then, 20 above ay 5. Okay. So, ang una nyong gagawin, pumunta kayo doon sa my home. And then, sort and filter. Pero bago yan, highlight muna natin yung sort natin. C, age, yan. Then sort and filter. Small to largest. Don't forget to expand the selection and then click sort. Ayan, na-sort na siya. So mag ngayon, next will be, ikakapi natin yung category. So yung one is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 5 categories yan. So copy natin lahat yung nasa category 1. Control C. Control V, Category 2, and then Control V, Category 3, Control C, Control V, Number 4, Control C, and then Control V, sorry, na nawala si 5, and then si 5, Control C, and then Control V. Okay, so, since we have 5 groups or 5 categories in age, ang gagamitin natin is ANOVA. Please be reminded na kapag ka two groups, T-test ang gagamitin ninyo. Pero kapag ka ang, yung data ninyo is three or more groups, ang gagamitin ninyo is ANOVA. Okay, so yan. So five groups yan. So ang gagamitin natin is ANOVA. Click nyo si data. Okay. Since nakakategory na siya ito five, ayan na pag iwiwalay na. Click nyo si data. And then click nyo si data analysis. Pag na-click si Data Analysis, hanapin si ANOVA Single Factor, and then click OK. After clicking OK, highlight natin itong lahat na ito. Pag na-highlight nyo yan, syempre yung labels in first row, kasi yung first row natin is naka-label as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then Output Range, click nyo yan. And then mag-click kayo sa part ng sheet nyo kung saan nyo siya gusto, and then click yan. And then click OK. Okay, as you can see, napakadaming values or napakadaming laman ng table natin. Pero ang kailangan lang natin dito is etong table na ito. Okay, so pag meron na yung table na yan, lagyan, lagyan nyo dito ng interpretation sa may next. Sa last column, interpretation. Yan, pag nalagyan nyo yung interpretation, Ngayon, itong p-value ang basis natin. Since our p-value is 0 0.7653, ibig sabihin there is no significant difference on the perception of Google Classroom when group according to their age. Kasi as you can see, 0 0.70. Why? Pag greater than 0 0.05, ang p-value, ibig sabihin there is no significant difference. 
Pero kapag ka less than 0.05, there is a significant difference. Therefore, ang interpretation natin dito is not significant. Kuha? Okay. So, ang ikakapin ninyo, ito lang, itong table na ito. And then, i-remove nyo na ito. Hindi, kahit okay lang na ganyan. So, ito, ikakapi nyo na siya sa world, word, sorry, control C, and then, so, word, ayan, control. Ayan. So, dito, pwede nyo siyang i-all borders. Ayan, then, ayusin nyo na siya. Uha? So, next tayo. Next will be gender. So, how many groups do we have in gender? So, we have two. So, copy nyo ulit yan. Then, mag-add na lang ng other sheet or pwede din dito sa baba niya. Click nyo dito, paste. And then, kopyahin nyo ulit ito. Ayan, so control C. And then, doon ulit sa baba niya. Ulitin ko, yan ang gagamitin ninyo. And then, isort nyo ulit ito. Okay, so sort. Don't forget to expand the selection. So, ayan. So, how many groups do we have? So, we have two. One, and then two. So, copy natin si one. Okay, sorry. Copy natin lahat lang nasa one. Ayan, and then nasa two. Okay, ano ulit ang gagamitin natin kapag ka two groups? So, we're going to use... We're going to use ticket. Okay, so click data and then click data analysis and then punta tayo sa my t-test to sample since to sample yan and then assuming an equal variance ang i-click nyo. So, an equal variances. So, click yan and then okay. And then after that, i-highlight nyo ito yung kailangan ninyo sa column 1 and then variable 2, yung column 2 ay sorry, yung column 2 2, and then yung label, check nyo si label, of course, and then the output range will be, alimbawa dito, and then click OK. Okay, so after nga, hindi yan lahat yung lalagay ninyo sa inyong table. Ayusin natin yung table. Lagay nyo muna is the gender. So first column will be the gender. Tapos lagay nyo male, and then female. Tapos dito will be the mean. So the mean is... 3 point, o oh, ito, pwede na i-copy ito. Copy, control B. Ay, sorry, control C. And then control B. Next will be the SD or the standard deviation. And then, since variance ang nandito, ang gawin nyo na is the square root. The square root of variance kasi is SD. So, yan, close. Then, enter. Then, highlight nyo yan. Then, drag nyo pa kaliwa. So, copy natin. Control C. And then, paste. Control C, and then paste. Okay, so next will be the DF. Ilagay nyo si DF, small letters, dapat dyan. So, ito, merge na natin. Ang DF natin is 8. And then after nyan is the T stat. T stat ang kailangan or the T value. So, merge din natin ito. Ang T stat natin is ito. Ay, okay. Okay, control C. C and then control C. And then after nyan is the uh, p-value. Ang p-value p-value ang p-value ay ito yung nasa baba control C then control V. And the last will be the interpretation. Oh, as you can see, sa ating p-value, sabi ko ang kanina, kapag ka less than 0.05 siya, significant siya. Itong p-value natin is greater than 0.05, therefore, still not significant. Okay, kuha. So, ganyan lang. So, ito na ulit yung ikakapin ninyo sa inyong word. Uh, para maging consistent tayo or para pare-pares ito, i-reduce natin ito into two decimal, kasi ito dapat 8 lang. So, ayan. Tapos, ito na yung ikokopya ninyo sa inyong Microsoft. Ayan. Para mas makita natin, yung all borders natin. Ayun. So, ayan. Next will be, question number, ay yung number 3. Ano nga ba yung number 3 natin is section. No? So, again, control C. 
And then, dun sa sheet number 3, dun na lang sa baba para hindi madami. And then, copy ulit natin si... Ito yung average me, ay yung average niya. And then, copy ulit dito. Sorry. Paste. Tapos, yung ginawa natin kanina, so sort ulit natin ito. Sort from smallest to expand selection. So, we have how many categories? We have three. So, three. Copy natin si, sorry, one. Si two. And then si two. Okay, since nag-copy nyo na yan, gaya ng ginawa natin kanina, si Bad, since this is three, two, three groups, sorry, ang gagamitin nyo nyo is ANOVA. So, click natin ulit si data. So, si data, data analysis. Puntahan ulit natin si ANOVA single factor. Click OK. Tapos mag-highlight tayo dito. And highlight natin this one. Highlight nyo, be sure to highlight all. Levels at first row and then output range. Itong output range will be, hanap tayo dun sa tabi niya. Click nyo ito, then click OK. Mm, ayan. So, ito ulit yung kailangan ninyo. Interpretation. Sabi niya, ang nakalagay dyan. As you can see sa ating p-value ito, itong p-value na ito. Ito yung p-value natin, ito. 0.99, ang interpretation niyan is not significant. Ibig sabihin, wala pa ding pagkakaiba or there is still no significant differences on the perception of Google Classroom and Group according to their section. So, again, i-copy nyo ulit yan. Ctrl C. And then, Ctrl V here. Tapos, i-all border nyo siya para mas makita nyo yung magkakasama. Ayun. Then, ayusin nyo na siya. So, yun lang. Ganun lang ang paggamit ng uh, T-Test and ANOVA sa ating Microsoft Excel. Thank you for watching.